Hi there. Welcome to uh, one of the videos on my dual voltage motor series. Uh, this one in particular, we're going to be talking about a delta motor and we're going to be talking about a low voltage connection. So we're going to be talking delta and we're going to be talking low voltage connection. Right, so the big thing here to remember when I'm talking about a low voltage connection, right, really common would be, you know, a 230, 460 rating on the motor, right? So I would apply either 240 volts or 480 volts, which would mean each of these windings is rated for 230. If I'm going to put it into a low voltage connection, connected up to 240 volt source, I need to put these windings into parallel with each other so they can each have 240 volts applied across it, right? So my low voltage connection is usually what we would call a parallel connection, okay? So how that would look, right? Here's my delta motor, right? Uh, we did do the labeling in a previous video, which you can check out, uh, how to label the terminals, right? I have this nine lead delta motor. Here's my nine leads that would be popping out of my junction box and they would all be labeled, right? T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, T9. Often they'll just be one, two, three through nine, right? No Ts. But like I said, I want to wire this motor in parallel. I want this winding to be in parallel with this winding. I want these two windings to be in parallel with each other. And I want these two windings to be in parallel with each other. So what that kind of looks like is this. And polarity is very, very important. So current has to flow through the windings in a certain way in order to develop that magnetic field to get it to spin in the proper direction. So we always want, in this case, T1 to be in pair, connected to T7. And T4 would be connected to T2. And that would put those in parallel with each other so that if current was flowing into T1, it's now also flowing into T7 and flowing through that way and then back out. All right, so that's our first step, T1 to T7 and T4 to T2. So we'll go T1 to T7 and T4 to T2. Okay, now again on the bottom here, we want T2 to connect to T8 and T5 to connect to T3. So that will be our bottom connection. So T2 to T8. Um, and T5 to T three, like that. Then we get into our very last connection here, right? Which would be T3 to T9 and T6 up to T1. Again, current flows into T3, then it would also be flowing into T9. Current will be flowing the same direction through both of those windings, which is what we want. So we had T3 to T9 and T6 to T1. Um, how am I going to draw that here? All right, T6 to T1. So in this case, that would be my connections. I would actually just need the three morettes. Uh, and then that's how I connect it up. So that's a low voltage uh, delta parallel connection. Uh, don't forget, if you're looking for high voltage or Y motors, I have a bunch of other videos coming out on that as well. So take a look at those. Thanks for watching.